I think it's often we should reflect really on, on the judgment which is before me. And, the, and, and if we just, just, just if, if women could have a voice in relation to this. Accordingly, the committee considers that taken together, the above facts amounted to cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment in violation of Article 7 of the Covenant. So cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment. I think that deserves a response from the Taoiseach in a different way than the response that he's given, even, even to reflect on the seriousness of that judgment for a woman that had to go that far, who was in the airport and coming back bleeding. And I would look at any of you as men and say... Tell us about this, specifically about that woman's case. In, in terms of the conditions, that straight after the termination, she had to travel back. She didn't have the wherewithal to stay there, stay overnight. Okay, I see, I see, she yeah. came back. Actually, it's, it's important to say this. That's I don't know any man that would be travelling through an airport bleeding as a result of a termination and being forced to do that. And so just, just read it and look at it and reflect on it and then let's see what we're going to do in terms of respecting okay. women and women's okay. rights. Okay. was asked twice in the duel I'm today sorry? if he would apologise to Miss Mallet and he didn't. Okay, uh, I was going to go on to a, 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 what was regarded as a trivial story, but I think it's inappropriate to do so after uh, this discussion.